Hey there YouTube, we're back today with another video and today we're going to be taking off the casing of a B-Series transmission. Uh, just roughly we want to go over the tools that we're going to need. To start off we're going to need, uh, you can either use a ratchet or an impact driver, in my case I have a Black & Decker one. Not as good as the Dewalt's in my personal opinion, but this works with a 3-8 drive, usually what I use for my sockets. Here's an extension for it, 12 meter millimeter socket and a 14 millimeter socket. Then you're going to need either a large wrench, which I will get the measurement in a minute, or an adjustable. I like to use an adjustable. Some type of needle nose or spreading tool. A half inch breaker bar. Make sure it's half inch. Or you can use an impact driver half inch as well. And I like to use a rubber mallet as well to get the casing apart. Uh, so let's dive right into it. First thing you want to do is get the transmission to face... Uh, to sit on its face and we're going to put a block of wood so the input shaft doesn't have any contact with the floor itself. Now that we have it seated, first things first, we're going to take off the 14 millimeter bolt which is located right here, I actually already broke it loose. Be careful, it comes out with a washer as well. It's right in between the mount bolts, 14 millimeter. And I'm going to put this on a magnetic tray and try to keep everything all together, magnetic tray. The next two you want to take off would be this bracket right here because it'll expose the casing bolts since there's one hidden down right under it. So take these two off. Once you have that bracket off, you have all the casing bolts, which I believe are 17 total exposed, and you'll be able to take them off all together. If you come around to the back end, which would be the underside of the car, see if I can give it a little more brightness, you'll have two 12 millimeter bolts right here, which have a spring and a ball inside, as well as two washers. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off. Very carefully with these. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about right now. Let me focus. Spring and a ball. So you don't want to lose those. Put that right on the magnet tray. Ball's right there. And it does have the two washers on each one of the bolts. Once you're done with that, you have your re reverse. This is uh, the reverse light. Basically, it lets the car know that it's in reverse using these wires and the sensor in there. And I'm not 100% sure on the measurement, that's why I always use my adjustable. It doesn't really have much tension. You're going to get in there and just break it loose. And it should just be able to come out twisting it off. And there also is a washer in that. There's the washer. Well, that's off. Put that right there. Now we're on the top view. We're going to go ahead and break loose all 16 of the 12 millimeter bolts around the casing. and go ahead and collect all the bolts. Once all your bolts are done and taken off, you're going to want to inspect them just to make sure that none of the threads have been messed up or cross-threaded from a previous person or from the factory. Most of the time there's no problems. Uh, on this specific bolt, there's a little bit of corrosion and this one seems a lot of corrosion. So we might be going ahead and replacing those two bolts since we have an extra one. Uh, next would be take this half inch plug out, you can either use the impact gun, a breaker bar, or whatever you have accessible to you, Just it's a half inch regular thread, not reverse threaded or anything. If you look in here, let's see if I can focus, what we're going to be spreading is that clip right there. Let me see if I can point it out. 
right in between there, these clips need to be spread, allowing the casing to come off. There's a few different methods on how people like to do this. Normally what I do is just get a set of needle nose pliers, pry it apart, which is kind of hard to do with one hand, but pry it apart and you'll see it when you start to do it. You can kind of see it starting to move. see it spread right there once it's spread all the way you can start uh, prying the casing off and in some cases if you spread it enough the transmission the internals will just drop and it'll allow you to pull the case off much easier there we go it's spread right there and you just heard that little click that's the insides moving out of place and the clip is stuck spread let's see if I can focus it's kind of hard to see, but there's the clip spread open. Uh, once you've done that, you should be able to pry the transmission. And let's see, it, the B series only has, I believe, one pry location, as well as the K series, if I'm not mistaken, but the D series has two. Unfortunately, we're working on the B series today, so um, we normally pry it from. Where is it that I normally do it? I normally just hit it from right here. Uh, you can use a pry bar if you don't, just a wrench works. Let's pry that up. And you can see the transmission is already starting to separate. You have a few other points right here as well. You can see where it's lifted. Uh, at this point, you can go ahead and stick something like a wrench in or a pick tool just so you can get this side level. Or level to lift both sides. Let me put my phone down a second. Okay, now that we've got something wedged in between, you can just pry up. And this should be ready to lift off. There we go. And you have your gear set exposed. Something I like to mention, I already had this transmission previously apart and I have not assembled it with Honda Bond. Normally there'll be a bead of Honda Bond sealing both surfaces together and it might make it a little bit harder to separate since it's bonding both pieces together to hold it together. Um, in those cases, just as we did right here, you'll stick something in between and pry it up or use those pry locations. All right, once you have it open, you can go ahead and do whatever you wanted to do, inspect or change out any parts. There's our gear set. This would be an LS transmission. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, comment, like, subscribe, and hope to see you next time.